India has increased marginally to 213.7 million metric tons from 213.2 million metric tons in the year 1819, registering a growth rate of 0.2%. Similarly, the production of petroleum products has also marginally increased from 262.4 million metric tons in 1819 to 262.9 million metric tons in 1920, a growth rate of 0.2%. However, there was no increase in the refining capacity of 249.4 million metric tons during the year 1920. The Indian crude oil basket price has witnessed wide fluctuations during the year 1920. The average price for the year 1920 was $60.47 per barrel, which is lower than the previous year's average price of $69.9 per barrel. Global peak demand for transport fuel is projected around 2035. However, unlike the OECD countries, the demand for transport fuels in India is projected to keep growing and peak much later. In fact, demand for refined petroleum products is expected to witness a robust growth in India, making it a growth hub for oil demand in the long term. As for the recent annual world energy outlook, India's oil demand is expected to grow at a CAGR of 2.71% and will reach up to 420 million metric tons from the 2018 level of 233 million metric tons. Thus, India is all set to experience the fastest oil demand growth over a long period. While oil demand is expected to peak in the advanced economies before 2030, India's demand is expected to be more robust. The impact on demand for petroleum products due to the COVID-19 pandemic is expected to be of short term only and the long term projections are expected to remain almost the same as earlier with minor adjustments. Coming down to operational performance for the period of 2019-2020, I would like to highlight some of the major achievements during the year 1920. Your company achieved a crew throughput of 10.16 million metric tons at Malawi refinery in 2019-20 as compared to 10.27 million metric tons in 1819, despite the planned shutdown of crude displacement unit, CDU-1, and the diesel hydro feeder units, DSDT, and COVID-19 impact during the year. IS server display yield of 77.6% was achieved as against the previous best of 74.4% in 2018-19. IS ever ATF production of uh, 1.016 million tons was achieved against the previous best of 0.79 million tons in 1718. IS ever hexane production of 19.7 TMP was also achieved against the previous best of 14.9 TMP in 1819. Supply of BS6 MS and HSD started from 1st December 19, well ahead of the mandated timeline of April 1, 2020. Manali refinery achieved operational availability of 97.64% against the MOU target of 97%. The specific energy consumption of 81.4 in terms of MBN was also the lowest against the previous lowest of 83.1 in the year 1890. Successfully produced high flash HSD with NATO grade specifications and IMO grade low sulfur FO containing 0.5% of sulfur. Imported power through Indian Energy Exchange, IEX, started from 1st December 2019 in desalination plant at an average of 3.4 megawatt hour, which resulted in savings of 173 lakhs till March 2020. Coming down to financial performance, your company's turnover registered a decrease of Rs. 48,624 crores during 1920 as compared to 52,177 crores in the previous year, mainly due to the reduction in product prices from Jan 2020 to March 2020 and due to the comparatively lower crude total. As you are all aware, energy markets witnessed high volatility in the year 1920, with crude oil prices fluctuating from a high of $71 per barrel in April 2019 
to a low of $33.36 a barrel in March 2020 due to the unprecedented COVID-19 pandemic in the world and consequent weak global economic growth. The sudden and steep fall in crude prices in March 2020 entailed a significant write down of inventory following the requirement of INDAS, Indian Accounting Standard. The year was also beset with unfavorable product cracks due to the various factors, including the COVID pandemic. The benchmarking Singapore refining margin for the year 2019 20 was significantly lower at around $3.2 a barrel as compared to $4.9 per barrel in financial year 1819. The same trend also reflected in India. Due to the above mentioned factors and on account of the huge drop of crude and product prices in quarter four of 1920, the GRM for the year 1920 was minus $1.18 per barrel as compared to $3.7 per barrel in the year 1890. Your company was constrained to post a net loss of rupees 2,078 crores during financial year 1920 as compared to the loss of rupees 213 crores for the year 1890, mainly due to the extraneous factors beyond control. It is, however, heartening that your company's profitability has improved in the first quarter of 2021 with a profit before tax of rupees 430 crores with improved crude prices, though the product margins continue to be below the economic level and the demand is only 70 to 75 percent of the normal demand. We expect the demand to significantly improve by quarter three of 2021. Your company's physical performance continues to be robust, more particularly in times of display field improvement, optimization of the crude mix, and energy efficiency. Your company has initiated many measures to improve profitability and reduce operating costs. And with good physical performance, combined with these new measures, we are confident of better fiscal performance in the current year. Dividend. Given the losses incurred during the year, your company has not recommended any dividend for the year. The preference dividend in respect of 6.65%, non-convertible, cumulative redeemable preference shares, 50 crore shares outstanding as on 31st of March 2020, issued to Indian Oil Corporation Limited, our holding company, will be paid with arrears along with the next declaration of dividend. However, the same has been accounted for as a part of the finance cost in line with the INDAS requirements. Your company has achieved a capex expenditure of rupees 960.6 crore during the year. The details of the projects which are under implementation include the first one is quality upgradation project, new FCC gasoline decentralization unit of 0.6 million metric tons per annum capacity. Mechanical completion of the unit is expected soon and commissioning is expected during the third quarter of 2021. New sulfur recovery unit. The unit is expected to be mechanically completed by the fourth quarter of 2021. Regasified liquefied natural gas, RLNG project. I'm happy to inform you that your company has completed RLNG conversion in refinery free furnaces in one of the hydrogen generation units, three out of five gas turbines, and three out of six utility boilers as fuel and feed. RLNG conversion in balanced gas turbines, balanced utility boilers, and in the second hydrogen generation unit is expected to be completed by the fourth quarter of 2021 in a phased manner. RLNG conversion will have a positive impact on the carbon footprint with a reduction in the CO2 emission and will reduce specific feed and fuel consumption for the production of hydrogen. The total cost of the project is estimated to be about Rs. 350 crores. Future projects, 9 million metric tons per annum Kaveri Basin Refinery, your company, along with Indian Oil, the holding company, proposes to set up a 9 million metric ton per annum refinery complex at Kaveri Basin Refinery, Nagapatin. The project would be an integrated state of art modern complex, refinery gun petrochemicals, including a polypropylene unit to start with. The process packages have been finalized and the detailed feasibility report for the project has been completed. 
the board of directors of your company at the meeting held on the 3rd of June 2020 recommended the project to the board of Indian Oil for investment approval. The project would also benefit from the land already in possession by CPCF. The proximity to highways and coastal location of the refinery are added advantages for the project. The project is in line with the expected growth in demand for petroleum products in the southern region. However, in view of the COVID-19, supply demand outlook is being reviewed. Meanwhile, the Export Appraisal Committee of Ministry of Environment and Forest and Climate Change has reviewed our 9 million metric tons per annum project proposal and has sent its recommendation for environmental clearance to MOEF and CC. The Kaveri Basin 9 million metric tons per annum refinery project would also stand as an anchor for feedstock generation for downstream industries. Safety. Your company continuously strives to attain all-round improvement in safety performance by adhering to the best safety standards. During the year, man hours lost due to accidents was a percentage of the total man hours was 0.004%. There were only two reportable accidents involving contract workers. Major initiatives on safety management undertaken during the year include the following. Near miss incident system, modified to improve its effectiveness in tracking liquidation. Total near miss incidents reported during the year were 6,882 numbers. High potential near miss incidents were identified by a standing committee and appropriate actions were taken. On-site emergency bomb drills were conducted every quarter in the presence of officials from the Directorate of Industrial Safety and Health and mutual and aid members, MFL and TPA. Monthly mock drills were conducted by creating different emergency scenarios as for the emergency response and disaster management plan, ERDMP. In wake of the COVID-19 pandemic, your company has also initiated stringent measures for the protection of employees. The initiatives are in compliance with the various COVID-19 related advisories and the directives from the government of India, the state bodies, ministries and statutory bodies to ensure adequate safety precautions and strict adherence to guidelines, especially during the lockdown period and for smooth and safe refinery operations, a high level committee was instituted, which is meeting regularly to monitor the situation and plan the course of action as per the COVID-19 the... is in place for conducting operations. It is mandatory that employees and the contract workers wear masks while entering the company premises. Provision for disinfecting and sanitizing has been made and the number of contract workmen has been restricted to the bare minimum and only need-based deployment is being ensured. Committees with cross-functional team members have been formed to ensure the safety of employees in various units. Human resources. Your company believes that the employees play a vital role in meeting the challenges from the emerging competitive scenario in the industry. Towards this, many HR initiatives have been introduced for the development and growth of the employees to face future challenges. Some of these include People Capability Maturity Model Study audit was carried out and system improvements are being made to enhance the HR practices. Employee Satisfaction Survey to understand the needs of employees. During the year 1920, your company achieved 3.61 average training mandates against the target of 2.5 mandates. Memorandum of Settlement under Section 18.1 and 2P of the Industrial Disputes Act 1947 on work-related items and facilities for workmen was signed between the management and the Chennai Petroleum Corp Employees Union, CPEU, on 17 May 2019. Corporate Social Responsibility. Your company's Corporate Social Responsibility, CSR, vision has been defined as strive for educated, healthy, economically and environmentally protected community around the refineries. To achieve your company's CSR vision, CSR projects are designed to positively impact the economic and social conditions of the communities in which it operates 
to make efforts towards the self-sustainability of CSR projects and to take initiatives on environmental sustainability. During the year 1920, your company spent 16.71 crore on community development activities. The program and projects are primarily being undertaken in the vicinity of the company's major installation and establishments to improve the quality of life of the local communities. Of this, about rupees 10.20 crores was spent on various CSR initiatives in Nagapatinam near the Kaveri Basin Refinery, which includes rural development initiatives, that is, adoption of three villages in Nagapatinam district to benefit 1,700 families to improve their social, environmental, and economic conditions. Further, your company has spent more than 60% of the annual CSR expenditure for the thematic program of school education, healthcare, and nutrition during the year. Corporate governance. Your company complied with the corporate governance guidelines issued by SEBI and the Department of Public Enterprises, except the clause relating to the appointments of additional independent directors. The appointment of additional independent directors is under the consideration of the Government of India. The certificates received from the auditors of the company registered regarding compliance of conditions of corporate governance as required under SEBI regulations 2015, as well as compliance with the guidelines on corporate governance issued by the Department of Public Enterprises, Government of India, is provided in the annual report of 1920. A separate section giving further details on corporate governance in your company is provided in the annual report of 1920. Awards and recognitions. In recognition of its various CSR initiatives, your company has been honored with the following awards during the year. Golden Peacock Award for Corporate Social Responsibility in Oil Refining Category by Institute of Directors, New Delhi. Best Practices in CSR Award 2020 in Rural Development Category by the Institute of Public Enterprises, Hyderabad. Way forward. Your company has undertaken many new initiatives to improve operational performance and quality of products to meet the future demands. Some of the major initiatives include the following. Announcement of product value. Presently, your company produces one grade of NAFTA. To further improve margin realization, a NAFTA splitter unit is being installed in crude unit two to split the NAFTA into light and heavy grades. This initiative will improve margin realization of NAFTA through exports and will also help to consume part of the production within India and also contribute to improve the GRM of your company. Your company has also initiated action to manufacture low sulfur repo, which has a better margin as compared to other products. CPCL is also planning to increase the production of hexane from the current level of 20,000 metric tons to 36,000 metric tons per year during the year 2122 and later scale it up by an additional 15,000 metric tons per year in the near future. These efforts are expected to improve the profitability by about 90 crores per year. The production of Group 2 LOBS products, your company has facilities to produce Group 1 lube oil based stock products. The production performance of lube oil based stock from existing facilities has gone up by 50% from 10 TMT to 15 TMT per month. This will further increase the profitability of your company as margin from LOBS are quite high. CPCL is also planning production of Group 2 LOBS products, which at present are imported in large quantity. Our entry into this profitable segment will further improve the revenue the stream and profitability as it has a high potential for de-risking the uncertainty in the POL business. Digital initiatives. The company is making efforts to adopt new technologies for improving performance. These technologies include usage of drones for inspection of pipelines and equipments at height and thus reducing the time taken to complete the jobs. CPCL is also in the process of identifying opportunities for digitalization of processes and data analytics and artificial intelligence to collaboration for better decision making and improving reliability of operations, which are expected to improve 
company's performance and employee productivity. Sustainable development. Your company is also committed towards reducing its carbon footprint. We have already replaced usage of furnace oil and naphtha in some parts of the refinery with environmentally friendly RNG in our efforts to reduce carbon intensity in our operations. We have also implemented a 50 kilowatt rooftop solar project and are planning to implement an additional solar unit of 70 kilowatts. On behalf of the CPCL board, I acknowledge with sincere appreciation the unstinted support and cooperation of all the employees of CPCL for the excellent work done during the COVID-19 lockdown period to ensure an uninterrupted supply of petroleum products and meet the energy needs of the people in Tamil Nadu and neighboring states. The board is extremely grateful to the government of India, particularly our parent ministry, the Ministry of Petroleum and Natural Gas, our holding company, Indian Oil Corporation Limited, and Daffitran Interfaith Company Limited, an affiliate of the National Iranian Oil Company, for their continued valuable support and guidance. Our sincere thanks to the government of Tamil Nadu, the Union Ministry of Road Transport and Highways, the Union Ministry of Environment and Forests, Controller and Auditor General of India, Central Vigilance Commission, Petroleum Planning and Analysis Cell, Oil Industry Development Board, Oil Industry Safety Directorate, Center for High Technology, Petroleum and Explosive Safety Organization, other regulatory and statutory authorities, banks and financial institutions for their guidance and valuable support. I also express my gratitude to all our customers, contractors and vendors for their patronage and support to the company during the year. The CPCL board members also wish to place on record their deep appreciation of the valuable contribution made by Mr. Sanjeev Sen, Mr. Mrithim Sahu, and Dr. P.B. Lohia, Mr. G. Arvindan, during their tenure on the board. I also thank each one of you, our valued shareholders, and look forward to your continued support in strengthening the improvement, improving our company's performance in the coming years. Thank you very much. And now I request the company to inform about the agenda of the meetings as well as the voting process. Thank you, Chairman, sir. Uh, I will now uh, briefly inform the details of uh, resolution and the voting process. As per the notice of the AGM, resolutions proposed for approval of uh, members are as under ordinary business. One, to receive, consider, and adopt the audited financial statement of the company, standalone and consolidated for the period from 1st April 2019 to 31st March 2020, together with the director's report and the auditor's report. Two, to appoint a director in place of Mr. Rajiv Ailawadi, DIN 0782-6722, who retires by rotation and being eligible, offers himself for reappointment. Three, to appoint a director in place of Mr. S.M. Vaidya, DIN 0699-5642, who retires by rotation and being eligible, offers himself for reappointment. Special businesses. Four, appointment of Mr. S. Krishnan, DIN 0869-1391, as a director. 5. Appointment of Mrs. Soba Shurendran, DIN 085-9985, as an independent director. 6. Appointment of Mr. Anod Sharma, DIN 08-777-977, as a director. 7. Ratification of remuneration of cost auditor for the year 2020-21. In line with the provisions of Companies Act 2013 and SEBI Listing Regulations 2015, the company had provided remote e-voting facility to the members to cast their vote on all the seven resolutions. The remote e-voting was open from Monday, the 7th September, 2020 to Thursday, the 10th September, 2020. The members who could not exercise their vote through remote e-voting can go to the voting page of KFIN e-voting website and cast their vote. In case members have already exercised their vote through remote e-voting, they are requested not to vote again. However, in case a member votes twice, the votes cast through remote e-voting only would be considered as valid. Mrs. LB and co practicing company secretaries has been appointed as the scrutinizer for this meeting. Thank you. May I now 
request the members to raise query on the annual report and the financial statements of the company with a view to facilitate participation of more members and to provide equal opportunity to all. The time allocated to each member is maximum three minutes. The moderator shall monitor the time. I will request each member to kindly identify themselves by name and request you to confine queries to the agenda of the annual general meeting. The members are requested to avoid repetitive questions and observations already raised by other members to enable adequate time to other shareholders and to provide response to the queries. Thank you, sir. Those are your moderator. I'll be bringing the speakers one after another. I request the speakers to kindly unmute when your name is called. Thank you. First, I request uh, the speaker, Mr. Santosh Kumar Saraf from Kolkata. Mr. Santosh Kumar Saraf, I request you to unmute your audio, switch on your camera, and ask a question, please. Mr. No, Santosh no, Kumar one Saraf. Minute, one minute, sir. One minute. I'm sharing my camera. Namaskar, respected chairman, board of directors, and my fellow shareholders. Those are present to this video conference meeting. I am Santosh Kumar Sraf from Kolkata. Ask Sadiko Mera Namaskar. We wish you all you are safe, your family safe, and all our staffs, managers, staff, and workers are safe. And wish their good health also, sir. So I sent already my query in the morning to secretary, sir. So I do not want to say much, but I want to highlight one or two things, sir. That is, I asked for the cost cutting, sir. So you must be reply after some time. Zaruri nahi hai ki aapko abhi reply dena. After meeting, you can be easily take the time and give a reply. Okay. Hey, so that, that, that is the matter because I sent the late. So then the meeting. Daily four to four, five meeting attend, sir. At 3 p.m. I attend already three meetings. Now this is fourth meeting going, sir. So I send the day. And sir, you, you completely doing very well, but this year we lost this suffer because some in many regions and COVID situation is okay. Or sir, really, what is your capex plan? What is your future? plan for growth and income of the company and again we come to in the dividend list what is your plan hope I, this year we will not get a dividend because this financial is very bad hope next financial we get the dividend show and sir nothing to say only say how many shareholders attending today this AGM at the time I reply if you get the numbers you get with one thing also I want to say yes sir Last year, we held a physical meeting at your venue, Sinai. And this time, we are, due to COVID, held the meeting in video conference. So is it my good luck that I attending the meeting first time in the, my life in Sinai Petro, sir? So I ask you to request you, okay, next year, if in video conference, a physical meeting held, you come take 15 to 20 minutes, 20 minutes for video conference meeting. So you can be hear the words of the your other shareholders who are living remotely from Kalata, Bombay, Delhi. Otherwise, local shareholders always meet and they get a chance. So we are also shareholders, sir. We invest to the company and we also have some word. So video company is now success, sir. Is it not a problem? There is a less expensive, sir. Because in the physical meeting, you have to pin last 30 seconds, sir. Thank you. One minute, sir. One minute. Just one minute, sir. I am from Kalata, sir. Outside. So, chairman, you ask the chairman. Chairman giving you one minute, sir. sir not to worry. I just finishing. So, sir, the physical meeting heavily costly, sir. And not report putting, notice pending, and also director coming from the outside. But they stay and living expensive, extra, sir. And now is very good. I attending my house. Some people attend by near house. One people attend by a shop. How very good, sir. Anytime, anything that, or no, both things are no running, season, no headache. So I request you next year to please arrange 15 to 20 minutes per video conference along with physical meeting. Again, I wish 
all are healthy and good wishes for all and next i hope we meet in take in the same position jai hind jai bharat jai shri ram namaskar sat samay dene ke liye aap sabhi ko namaskar mera sir swikar ke aur rakhte swasth ki kamna karta hu main aasha karta hu apne isi tarah se wo to milenge agle saal namaskar thank you sir moving on to next speaker mr abhishek j from chennai Mr. Abhishek, I request you to unmute your audio, sir. Switch on your camera and ask a question, please. Mr. Abhishek J from Chennai, kindly click on the red color button at the bottom to unmute yourself. So my name is Abhishek, share order of the company. My DP ID IN three zero one six three seven and client ID is four one three five nine one five five. First of all, I would like to congratulate the management on the eve of a fifty fourth annual general body meeting, sir. So. our sincere uh, congratulations for the 54th uh, agm to the entire board so uh, i would like to have certain clarification most of my queries are sent through email i will not repeat those queries again here so i can see that uh, in the some observations made in uh, balance sheet and other websites also sir like how we can see that in the past 5 years sell our salary is being increased by 7 to 8% in the past 5 years but uh, we cannot see any much profits in the past 5 years the management is not performing well the company is not doing good the petroleum industry is not doing good so uh, most of the companies we can see like vedanta hpcl has taken 50% salary cut 2 years ago we have uh, seen that even reliance has done that so but each and every petroleum sector has done that so our company has instead of reducing it has increase uh, increase the pay sir so you may kindly look into and consider that and uh, when will be the turnaround in the company sir when what is the management strategy for that and gross revenue margin is there so grm outlook what will be there in the coming future i would like to know some words from you sir and uh, csr of course the company is doing a good amount of csr so i would uh, suggest you to dedicate a huge much amount of csr towards covid 2019 as uh, the uh, pandemic situation most of the I think COVID requires uh, most of the CSR, and I would also request you to dedicate some funds towards Dr. Agarwal uh, Eye Hospital Charitable Trust for uh, as a part of CSR because they are doing a marvelous job by providing vision to the needy and the poor. So, by uh, based on CPCL CSR, if somebody is getting vision, so our management can dedicate some funds towards that, sir. I don't have nothing much to ask, sir. most of my queries are there in the email so i don't want to repeat that i wish the uh, board of directors a great success and prosperity in the coming future thank you for giving the opportunity sir hope to see you in physical atms next year sir thank you sir moving on to our next speaker mr p jaychan sir i request you to kindly unmute your audio switch on your camera and ask your question please mr p jaychan from chennai i have not received any feedback from the speaker Moving on to our next speaker, Ms. Archana J from Chennai. Ms. Archana J from Chennai, I request you to kindly unmute your audio, switch on your camera, and ask your question, please. Ms. Archana, your uh, audio is active. You are audible. Kindly proceed. P Jaychan, joint holder. Hello. Hello, sir. I am P Jaychan, joint holder. I would request you to grant the special dividend and bonus in the upcoming year. Most of our queries are answered, clarified, and I thank the management and congratulate all the best wishes. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Moving on to our next speaker, Mr. Hemant Kandelwal from Chennai. Mr. Hemant, I request you to unmute your audio, switch on your camera, and ask your question, sir. Mr. Hemant Kandelwal from Chennai. There is no feedback from the speaker. Moving on to the next speaker, Mr. Saket Kapoor. Mr. Saket Kapoor from Kolkata, I request you to unmute your audio, sir. Switch on your camera and ask your question, please. Hello. You are audible, sir. Please proceed. Yes, I am proceeding. Just my webcam is about to start. Uh, just a second, sir. Uh, sir, firstly, uh, good afternoon, friends, and thank you for giving me the opportunity. 
uh, uh, and uh, just sparing me a, a second, sir. The camera is just showing to stand corrected. It starts sharing anyway. I will continue, sir. Sir, firstly, sir, uh, in our in our uh, standalone refinery business, sir, we are uh, we are at the mercy of the inventory gains and the inventory losses. That happens because of the fluctuations in the crude oil prices and the transition period between the uh, uh, between which the the uh, the crude is available we purchase and it is processed so currently sir uh, what are, how are the cracks sir shaping up uh, as mr pandey did came up with an interview uh, for the first quarter uh, post first quarter results we would like to know how the cracks are shaping up and uh, what are the current utilization levels for the uh, two units sir sir uh, i being a minority shareholder through this through this forum, uh, forum would like to uh, put the apathy for us sir uh, the point the point is sir uh, post the numbers we we are uh, not getting any business update uh, how the uh, what are the key reasons uh, and neither any press con uh, press releases are issued neither any conference calls are scheduled even twice a year also but if if the performance is poor then so there is no issue if performance is good also we are we are not kept in uh, uh, we are not kept in the same loop uh, we we as minority shareholders uh, uh, rights are deprived sir and i would request the government and the dipam also to take note of uh, the way uh, the uh, our domestic institutions are run today sir in the newspaper i i read that uh, the uh, the total market cap the percent uh, is uh, of psu is only 4% of the total entire market cap of the indian market so this is this, this reflects uh, the performance of the poor and the sluggish performance of the psus Sir, our debt equity. I will take another one minute, sir. Our debt equity ratio is 4.6. What are we trying to do going forward to re reduce the same? The current the capital work in progress is 1600 crore. Which are the projects that are in the annual? What are the benefits from the resid uh, residual uh, resid uh, resin residual project? When are we going to uh, uh, retrieve the benefit of the same? And sir, uh, our company, our uh, holding company, IOC is proposing. This nine million ton uh, refinery, sir, at uh, Naga uh, Naga Patnam, sir. Just wanted to understand, sir, that uh, as of now, uh, it, it is it is the it, it is the child of only IOC that through which we are able to stand, and the rating agencies are giving you a triple A rating. So, uh, uh, is this only the the strategic location that is uh, putting uh, us in uh, put, uh, is, is getting the requirement to set up uh, uh, again a refinery when we are unable to manage even the one. Uh, we have uh, for such a long time and sir uh, the uh, the last uh, uh, point uh, which i uh, uh, which i would like to uh, uh, thr thrust upon sir that in good times uh, the uh, it is al always good to uh, declare dividends and, uh, uh, and and the shareholders have the right to receive it but in in good times the entire profits are made the way in the form of dividend so during the tough times it depends again on uh, uh, on you uh, uh, the, our uh, our company depend is dependent on ioc to again uh, borrow money why don't a reserve is uh, created when there when there are good years uh, so that even in bad years the same money can be used to uh, to uh, to fund our losses so sir please look uh, that uh, this organization also works for minority share, uh, shareholders and uh, this is what i have to say thank you for uh, the patient hearing thank you sir moving on to our next speaker mr dinesh gopaldas bhatia from mumbai mr dinesh gopaldas bhatia i request you to kindly unmute your audio switch on your camera and ask your question please we have not received any feedback uh, from the speaker Moving on to our next speaker, Mr. R. Shankar from Chennai. Mr. Shankar, I request you to unmute your audio, switch on your camera, and ask your question, sir, please. Hello. Sir, audible, sir, please Hello. proceed. Uh, good afternoon, Chairman and other directors. My name is R. Shankar. Client ID 41212892. First of all, it is very glad to note that uh, the company has uh, made a profit of uh, 272 crore rupees after tax during the first quarter of this year, sir. Then I saw the news in the newspaper, very happy to note that the company had also obtained environmental clearance for this 9 MMTP expansion project of Kaveri Basin Refinery, Nagapattinam. 
uh, finally, I wish uh, the company to uh, make a four-digit profit figure for the year 2020-21 and in future in order to, you know, to set aside or compensate the losses incurred in the past two years, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Our next speaker is Mr. Srikant Jawar from Hyderabad. Mr. Srikant, I request you to unmute your audio and uh, proceed with your question, sir. There is no feedback uh, from the speaker. Moving on to the next speaker, Ms. Bharati Sara from Kolkata. There is no feedback uh, from uh, Ms. Bharati Sara as well. Uh, next speaker is uh, Gopal from Chennai. Mr. Gopal from Chennai, I request you to unmute your audio, switch on your camera and ask your question, please. Moving on to the next speaker, Ms. Vandana G from Chennai. Ms. Vandana, I request you to kindly unmute your audio, switch on your camera and ask a question, ma'am. There's no feedback uh, from the speaker as well. With that, all the speakers who have registered and are currently available to speak are given an opportunity to speak. I now hand it over back to the chairman, sir. Thank you. Uh, with the, I mean, the question answers have been already, questions have been already noted. We'll now take a 10 minute, we'll now take a 10 minute break and we will be answering all the questions that we have received up to the point of 10 minutes. So I think till the time, Shankar, are we going to play some uh, film for the company? Uh, yes, sir, film, sir. We are going to run one film, sir. Okay, please do, please do that. Chennai Petroleum Corporation Limited CPCL is a group company of Indian Oil Corporation IOCL and operates two refineries in Tamil Nadu a 10.5 MMTPA refinery at Manali Chennai and a 1 MMTPA at Nagapattinam we at CPCL think long and hard about our role in the welfare of our society and creating a better future for a sustainable society. Our CSR activities seek to address India's biggest challenges from improving health and education services to making our cities and villages more sustainable and swatch. We believe that education and skill development will help our youth to achieve their potential we contribute to the development of local economies by boosting skills, providing furniture, PCs, library books, and supporting students through scholarships. We had formed the CPCL Educational Trust to run a polytechnic college. The college runs three diplomas in engineering courses and provides technical skills to around 600 students every year. Healthcare is another core focus area of our CSR activities. We support four community health centers to provide free primary care to more than 70,000 people annually. We have also provided various equipments such as blood analyzers, ventilators, ICU beds, microscopes. We are committed to the noble mission of Swachh Bharat. We have taken up innovative activities such as waste segregation sheds, supporting public utility construction. We enthusiastically celebrate Swachhata Pakwaras to spread the message of clean India wide and across. We have tied up with IIT Matras and adopted three villages for providing them drinking water, sanitation, solar power, Bringing a smile on faces of our Divyang friends is a prime focus for us. We have provided aids and appliances to the Divyangs in Chennai and Nagapattinam. We have also supported skill development initiatives for the multi-disabled and visually impaired children. We have supported the restoration of the prestigious Vivekananda Park opposite to the Marina Beach in Chennai. Our other initiatives include 
construction of library for a women's college, supporting a crash, medical camps, maintenance of toilets in schools, and skill development for women and youth. CPCL CSR, touching lives, one step at a time. Chennai Petroleum Corporation Limited, CPCL, is a group company of Indian Oil Corporation, IOCL, and operates two refineries in Tamil Nadu, a 10.5 MMTPA refinery at Manali, Chennai, and a 1 MMTPA at Nagapattinam. We at CPCL think long and hard about our role in the welfare of our society and creating a better future for a sustainable society. Our CSR activities seek to address India's biggest challenges from improving health and education services to making our cities and villages more sustainable and swatch. We believe that education and skill development will help our youth to achieve their potential. We contribute to the development of local economies by boosting skills, providing furniture, PCs, library books, and supporting students through scholarships. We had formed the CPCL Educational Trust to run a polytechnic college. The college runs three diplomas in engineering courses and provides technical skills to around 600 students every year. Healthcare is another core focus area of our CSR activities. We support four community health centers to provide free primary care to more than 70,000 people annually. We have also provided various equipments such as blood analyzers, ventilators, ICU beds, microscopes. We are committed to the noble mission of Swachh Bharat. We have taken up innovative activities such as waste segregation sheds, supporting public utility construction. We enthusiastically celebrate Swachhata Pakwaras to spread the message of clean India wide and across. We have tied up with IIT Matras and adopted three villages for providing them drinking water, sanitation, solar power. Bringing a smile on faces of our Divyang friends is a prime focus for us. We have provided aids and appliances to the Divyangs in Chennai and Nagapattinam. We have also supported skill development initiatives for the multi-disabled and visually impaired children. We have supported the restoration of the prestigious Vivekananda Park opposite to the Marina Beach in Chennai. Our other initiatives include construction of library for a women's college, supporting a crash, medical camps, maintenance of toilets in schools, and skill development for women and youth. CSR, touching lives, one step at a time. Chennai Petroleum Corporation Limited, CPCL, is a group company of Indian Oil Corporation, IOCL, and operates two refineries in Tamil Nadu, a 10.5 MMTPA refinery at Manali, Chennai, and a 1 MMTPA at Nagapattinam. We at CPCL think long and hard about our role in the welfare of our society and creating a better future for a sustainable society. Our CSR activities seek to address India's biggest challenges from improving health and education services to making our cities and villages more sustainable and swatch. We believe that education and skill development 
will help our youth to achieve their potential. We contribute to the development of local economies by boosting skills, providing furniture, PCs, library books, and supporting students through scholarships. We had formed the CPCL Educational Trust to run a polytechnic college. The college runs three diplomas in engineering courses and provides technical skills to around 600 students every year. Healthcare is another core focus area of our CSR activities. We support four community health centers to provide free primary care to more than 70,000 people annually. We have also provided various equipments such as blood analyzers, ventilators, ICU beds, microscopes. We are committed to the noble mission of Swachh Bharat. We have taken up innovative activities such as waste segregation sheds, supporting public utility construction. We enthusiastically celebrate Swachhata Pakwaras to spread the message of clean India wide and across. We have tied up with IIT Matras and adopted three villages for providing them drinking water, sanitation, solar power, bringing a smile on faces of our Divyang friends is a prime focus for us. We have provided aids and appliances to the Divyangs in Chennai and Nagapattinam. We have also supported skill development initiatives for the multi-disabled and visually impaired children. We have supported the restoration of the prestigious Vivekananda Park opposite to the Marina Beach in Chennai. Our other initiatives include construction of library for a women's college, supporting a creche, medical camps, maintenance of toilets in schools, and skill development for women and youth. So I can start answering the queries which have been raised by the shareholders. Uh, some of them have been the queries that have come to the email. So I would like to go. So they may not be in the order of what was asked probably now, but eventually all will be answered. So one is the acknowledgement of the shareholders to congratulate the CPCL board and all the employees uh, for doing the wonderful job in times of this COVID-19 pandemic. So the CPCL management appreciates the keen interest shown by you all on the company affairs and we acknowledge your wishes and uh, the thanks for the same. Then one was that what was the COVID-19 impact and effect on the company income uh, and the impact on the physical performance. So in view of the severe lockdown to contain COVID-19 pandemic, the demand for petroleum products except LPG had drastically reduced and the crude throughput has been reduced to contain the products. The capacity utilization of CPCL during quarter one was 50% against 100% during the last year, same time. And based on the phase-wise lifting of the lockdown in various regions, the product demand has now increased and the capacity utilization of the refinery has now gone up to roughly in the range of 75%. Then the next question is what steps are taken by management to minimize the business and activities of the company across the business? So to protect the manpower from COVID-19 impact, following actions were initiated. One is work from home was implemented as per the government guidelines. Then contract uh, workmen were kept to the bare minimum. Then extensive uh, regular sanitization of refinery premises was carried out regularly. Then thermal scanning was done at the refinery gates for all the personnel entering the refinery, be it the employees or the contract workers. And most of them, or rather all the meetings were conducted through the web platform. I mean, this was a major learning 
of the web meeting. I mean, the AGM also is a web a virtual meeting. So this was a major shift in our normal behavior, the conducting of meetings through the web platform. Then one is what steps are being taken for cost cutting in COVID-19 pandemic uncertainty and, uh, and the uncertainty in the business. So guidelines have been issued for all economy and expenditures. All discretionary expenses are being closely monitored. Initiatives like purchase of power to Indian energy exchange and energy conservation measures are being implemented. Because as we all know that the operating cost, the power plays a very, very critical and important role. So we are trying to keep the cost by virtue of the electricity, etc., to the bare minimum. Then one more question is, uh, the board of directors could think of a cut in the remunerations, the sitting fees of the directors could be reduced, uh, the commissions and proposals by 30%, when the business is surviving very tough and it's difficult to survive. And one more was the board of directors could think of cutting the remuneration and proposals uh, to key managerial position by 30%. Well, your concern is well appreciated. Uh, let me tell you, the remuneration of functional directors and key managerial personnel are asked for the DT guidelines of the government of India. The setting fees paid to the independent directors are very nominal and reasonable, and which are in line with the Companies Act of 2030. Then one more question is the future plan of management to increase the growth and income of the company so various initiatives on the barrel in the yield improvement, GRM improvement, and some of the initiatives are uh, CPCL is continuously evaluating process processing of heavier and high tan crude oils. So such crudes are lower cost and give better margins. And as we all know, that in the business that we are, the price of crude is a game changer. I mean, we get cheaper crudes, we process cheaper crudes. That makes a world of difference to the GRM of the refinery and the overall bottom line of the company. Then efforts are on to maximize high value products like uh, LOBS and food grade hexane. At the same time, minimizing lower value products like NAFTA, upgrading the same to products like MS. See, well, the, one of the handles the refinery has is to make some high value products in the possible available configuration that it has. And so CPCL, uh, we have done just that, uh, more of LOBS and food grade exam, which are high margin products, and we are trying to maximize that. Then uh, energy, as I always uh, just told, energy plays a very important role in the overall improvement of the GRM. So this year, around 10 schemes of energy uh, improvement, efficiency improvements are planned and we are expecting a saving of nearly 25,000 SRFP, that is standard refinery fuel, and this will give a substantial increase in our bottom line. Then also implementation of long gestation energy saving schemes to reduce the fuel and loss by 1%. So this will be also a very major improvement to the overall profitability of the company. Then the units are being very closely monitored to maximize the overall display deal. I mean, more you get from your crude, more displays that you get from the crude in the available configuration directly impacts the bottom line of the refinery. So the endeavor of every refinery refiner is to increase the display fee, buy a cheaper crude, increase the display fee, and go down on the energy requirements to process the crude oil. So CPCL is doing all that, and I'm sure they will leave results. Then the schemes for maximization of displays like uh, CCR feed, increase for MS maximization, increased secondary conversions are also being implemented. So along with the display yield, one way of increasing the display yield is to improve the secondary units conversion. Uh, primary unit is the CDU and the secondary units, the more you operate them, the more you slog them, you get a better secondary unit conversion and that improves your display yield directly. So the company is doing just that. Then strict controls on costs is further expected to supplement the efforts on operational efficiency. So whatever areas where the cost control is possible, they have already been listed down by the management. It has been deliberated. Even at the board meeting, it was deliberated once. And now they are in the process of implementation back so that we have the least operating costs. And uh, as I will also told you, increase in the high value products. Then one more question is, 
with regards to our respected prime minister vision of making india self reliant that is atmanirbhar bharat is there any action or initiative that is being taken in its capacity so yes we are certainly in line with the vision of the prime minister of atmanirbhar bharat so what we can do at our end is the maximization of the chemical procurement to the gem portal and this is a very major step and then the adoption of indigenous uh, in match technology so this is also one area that we have relied on the indigenous technology instead of going for uh, foreign bidders for the in match technology which is already well proven in our indian oil paradi refinery so that is also one way we have contributed to the self reliant uh, dream of the country then to achieve the self reliant review and checking are done while floating global tender inquiry consistent with the directive of the government of india on the localization policy so no global tender for value of up to 200 crores except the permission from the government of india so cpcl issued guidelines uh, circulars giving guidelines adapting localization policy to be followed in cpcl procurement committee report on this subject is also being followed also the compliance is reported to the ministry in this regard from time to time so to achieve the self reliant the purchase preference are given as per the pplc order 2017 that is uh, make in india local content of the government of india relevant conditions are stipulated in the cpcl tenders also the compliance in this case also gets reported to the ministry then cpcl is following the purchase preference to the mscs in the procurement as per the government policy that is msc order 2012 and extending the benefits to the smes uh, msmes then the annual procurement plan as per the msc order 2012 is published in the cpcl website for the guidance of the msmes then payments to the msmes are monitored very closely and released to the msmes and i am very happy to share that no payment due to the msme is for a period of more than 45 days that's uh, that's how the monitoring is done then uh, one more question is that kindly consult consolidate the physical holding of shareholders in case the shareholder has more than one folio in the same name or with identical name to the same order in case of joint holder can be uh, in case of joint holder can be done in board meeting decisions no shareholder consent required in this case to reduce expenses on maintenance of this folio so we have the consent of the shareholders before proceedings to consolidate the folios as and when requests are received from the shareholders consolidation of folios are carried out the total female employee numbers from present 88 only about 5.22% out of the total employees of 1684 as of 31st march 2020 is a very less and currently the plans to improve this so cpcl the reply the cpcl give special focus to the various facets of women development and plans and programs Uh, CPCL has a gender neutral policy, and we are providing the uh, women with equal career opportunities. So women are encouraged to play an active role and to contribute to the growth and development of the company. some one more one more set has come now uh, one is from jay abhishek about the salary cap and the query on csr i think i have already replied about the salary cap whatever was talked about for the directors you know the remunerations are part of the dp guidelines so and uh, about the csr cpcl has contributed in a significant way to a leading high hospital in chennai so that was one of our csr activities then j achana special dividend so the board of directors has not recommended any dividend on both the paid up preference capital and paid up equity capital and the company uh, of the company in view of the losses during the financial year 1920 future dividend will depend based on the profitability position of the company then mr saket kapoor the query on investors meet and the benefit of reset project so the investors conference uh, conference meet was held with maqua which was all widely participated and the detailed plans of the company's performance was shared with the investors then the reset upgradation has already been commissioned and has resulted in increased display b 
to a minimum of uh, 5%. Then uh, again, Mr. Sakir Kapoor, the question was about market capitalization. So the market cap has improved from 902 crores on 31st March 2020 to 1231 crores as on 31 May 2020, that is a 36% increase. So your company is working to improve the profitability by improving efficiency and cutting costs. This will further boost the market capitalization. Uh, there was a question on product track trends. Actually, I've never seen in my so many years with the oil industry such suppressed cracks for such a sustained period of time. I mean, you won't be from right from the last four to five months, the cracks were very, very bad. In fact, I've never seen diesel cracks remaining negative for such a long period of time. I mean, they have just started picking up in the month of August. They have gone to a level of five. Again, unfortunately, they have gone down to a level of 1.5. MS cracks were negative for nearly two months, and now they are recovering in the range of 1.5. So now I can just tell you, so the cracks presently for diesel and MS, which are, which are our main products, is in the range of 1.5 to 2 for diesel, and same thing for MS. And now you can simply understand these sort of cracks are simply unsustainable for a refiner to perform. And we only hope that the only hope the cracks can go up is by way of better capacity, better product demand. The product demand has to pick up, and only then the refinery runs can improve, and only then the cracks will go up. So presently, the outlook is extremely bleak because all over the world, the, even the crude oil storages are also chokeful, as well as the product choke, the tanks are also chokeful. So we are unable, and the product demand is suppressed because of the COVID-19 pandemic. So it's a double whammy. The demand destruction is there, and the stocks are also full. So the cracks are indeed, indeed very depressed. And we only hope that the demand picks up, and that can only happen once there is some end to the COVID-19 pandemic story, you know, some vaccine, something coming up, only then we expect the demand to go up. But as on date, the demand is extremely suppressed. All the refineries, including CPCL, are operating at about 75% capacity. They did go up in the first week of July. The capacity utilization did improve. But again, due to the multiple lockdowns by the states, again, it has gone down. So presently, it is about 70 to 75%. So I think whatever shareholders queries that were received by emails or by whatever was said, I think we have answered them. And we all thank the shareholders for their continued support and all shareholders and all other shareholders who have not received, uh, I mean, queries received from other members who could not join are also being replied by email. So in case of any registered speaker could not join or speak due to some technical reasons or queries raised during these meetings have remained unanswered, the same may please be sent to the company secretary and uh, it will be our pleasure to reply to them. So now I request all the members to cast their vote now. The Insta poll will remain open for the next 15 minutes to enable the members to cast their vote post which the meeting will be closed. The results will be announced within 48 hours of the conclusion of the meeting, and the same would be intimated to the stock exchange and uploaded on the websites of the company, the National Stock Exchange, BSE, and KFN. So I think we can now go for the polling. Shankar, you want to add something? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, the, now the Insta poll uh, session uh, uh, will open. Uh, I would now request all the shareholders uh, who have uh, not uh, cast their votes during the remote e-voting period. Uh, they are requested to cast their votes uh, uh, through Insta poll. Uh, I would request all the shareholders uh, to cast their vote now. Thank you.